Hi oh yeah, in this video I'll be showing you uh, this fabric spray paint. I'll be testing it out because I've never used it before. I didn't even know you could get fabric spray paint until not long ago. Um, it says you can use it for bags and cushions and things. So I'm going to try it on a just a black tote bag. Nothing fancy. So I thought I'd just use this because I had it hanging around anyway. Um, so I'm using a mixture of uh, tape to create my pan and stencils like what I've made myself I've just because it's my own design I've just cut out um the design on some card and you just want to cover every section that you don't want um the spray paint on. You can use a normal stencil like a pre-made one if you just want a pattern or something because I wanted this one custom. That's why I had to do the little fiddling and do the little tape sections as well because they were just too fiddly and too small to actually use an actual stencil with. So once that's all covered, you can now spray paint it. This spray um, paint, you, it's best to do like a few smaller coats rather than a big thick coat. Just let it dry in between coats. You want to make sure it's shaken up really well as well before you use it, but always read the instructions on the can anyway. So you want to try and keep it as evenly as possible as well. And this actually dries really, really quickly. So it don't take long to do the coats because, like I say, it just dries so quickly. And it doesn't look like it's actually covering that well on camera, but when you actually see it, it actually does have really good coverage. It's kind of grey at the moment, but it actually is really silver. And once that's dry, just take off your stencil or your tape and this bit is so satisfying. Um, as you will see, the tape actually has pretty sharp lines when I take it off. The actual stencil, there's a bit of bleeding, so it kind of looks a bit... Um, the lines aren't quite as sharp. It's a bit smudged. So next time I will be just doing, using pure tape. I won't be using a stencil. Um, but overall, I think it's worked really well. Uh, it is um, slightly rough, not rough as if it looked like it will hurt you or anything, but it's a bit stiff. So for, for a t-shirt, I don't think it'd be that good, but definitely for bags. And if you're using a cushion as like a decoration piece, that'd work. But if you plan on leaning on it, I don't know. I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> so it is a really good um, way of decorating bags and things. There you can see the smudge there. So yeah, it's quite shiny as well. So I do recommend it for bags and things, but not t-shirts. And yeah, let me know if you try it. And thanks for watching. Bye.